The latest published documents on the Labour Party's financial corruption expose Keir Starmer enjoying his gravy train on the taxpayer. Welcome to the latest episode of the Labour Files, as we have been uh, talking about various Labour politicians and other socialists uh, enjoying their political gravy train on the taxpayer. We obviously already fund their lifestyle by paying their salaries, giving them the expenses and all the subsidised food and drinks in with Westminster bubble. And of course, at the same time, they still somehow, some of them feel the urgency to continue to do dodgy stuff. Not always illegal, but it's still a bit questionable. Um, and this is the whole point of these labor files, because it's not necessarily exposing uh, the, the, the theft of um, public money. But it's on a moral level, it is still the same case. Because Keir Starmer, before he became the leader of the Labour Party, he was a shadow secretary of state. Then he was also the Brexit spokesman for the Labour Party. And before that, he was in the CPS. And he was a prosecutor. And, of course, we've already talked about his history as a prosecutor. But that's a whole different <laughs> so that's a different episode. A whole new day. We could actually talk about that all day. But this is about... Uh, we already reminded you guys of uh, the latest uh, update that the taxpayer paid £160,000 for Keir Starmer's chauffeured car and his driver and everything else. But now there's more details thanks to Boys of Guido that discovered all the other things that he was spending on. Despite the fact that, again, his salary was already paid for by the public, on top of that, he was using the public purse for all the other stuff uh, for his lifestyle and, you know, sometimes for the office and sometimes other stuff. Whether it's, again, you can see Amazon... Um, Photoshop, <laughs> you have uh, Pret, Internet, I don't know what's going on there. But uh, we have the actual list. Let's go through each one of them. So, £723.51 on some weird furniture, okay. two thousand Over £2,000 on hotel rooms at the Bella Hotel for a conference in Bruges. Yeah, uh, that's, that's normal, fine. Maybe that was important, okay. Over £1,000 on a TV and DVD unit from Asda. Why couldn't he pay for that using his actual salary? I don't know. £559.30 on Christmas cards. Again, that could have been paid for by his salary. Over £7,000 on hotels for non-CPS staff at a four-star central London hotel, despite the fact that many cheaper options were available nearby. Again, use the, the expenses. £770.84 pence on an HD video camera from Comet. Oh my god. Yeah, that was, those are the days when Comet still existed. Uh, £531.50 pence on robes and tabs for higher court advocates from the ultra snooty <laughs> Ed and Ravenscroft outfitter to the Bullington, Cl uh, Bullington Club. Uh, as uh, what 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 is going on? I don't even know why. What, what is this? I mean, seriously, was that even necessary? We know that uh, again. Th th there was a lot of spending um, at Pret, the the, the so-called coffee shop, uh, in in twenty twelve. This is back in the day. He spent a modest six hundred forty nine pounds and ninety pence on refreshments from Pret. Six hundred pounds, seriously. Um, and these were the historic spendings. And those who might say, those Labour supporters say, well, that, that was back in the day. Firstly, that was still public money. Just because it wasn't exposed back then doesn't mean we shouldn't talk about it. Secondly, it just shows you the toxic culture of the Westminster village. And it applies to all parties, all mainstream parties and politicians. I'm not just completely going after the Labour Party. But again, it does matter because that wasn't dealt with. That culture wasn't really dealt with back in the day. That created the current um, climate, which is, again, you have Angela Rayner buying expensive iPads and on top of it, Apple AirPods that she doesn't even actually use for work, even though she could have gotten a cheaper tablet instead of an iPad. Um, actually, you don't even need that. You have a laptop. Just use your laptop if you want to do video calls. But again, even if you want to buy something, I don't care what you want to do with your own money. You already get your salary, which is, which is coming from the public purse again. 
But why, on top of your salary and the second jobs that you guys all have, every, every, every time you go on, you know, do some sort of speech or have an LBC radio show or go on How I Got News For You or in the jungle or all these other reality shows, you get a lot of money, all of you. Why do you feel the need to take more taxpayers' money on other things that you can just use your own actual salary and other income that you have? What are you doing with the rest of the money? Is it really important to be that greedy when you're supposed to be a public servant, when you're supposed to be a sort of person who chose this life to not make money? If you want to be uh, ambitious when it comes to finances, feel free to go work in the city of London or any other job. Don't become a public servant. There shouldn't be money in it. It shouldn't be the case that you join politics for money. It's disgusting. Anyway, that was the latest episode of uh, the Labour Files. We're going to continue to expose politicians from all sides. So as we remain independent, I'm Maya Tusi and we are the media.